In this video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of my favorite widgets you can install on Apple CarPlay. So thanks to iOS 26, the latest software update available on our iPhones, we have this new widget page, which is located on this page right here. And in this widget page, it not only supports first party widgets, but also third party widgets. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you my top five favorite ones as well as some added bonus and of course timestamps to everything will be in the video description down below including the third party apps where you can download them will be in the description let's get started the first widget i want to show you is a fun one especially to car enthusiasts and that is this one if you like to have your vehicle display on your apple carplay widget this looks absolutely amazing especially if you have a vehicle that can support up to two or more widgets so you can have this side by side but the widget that allows me to do this is called dashboard widget the app is free to download but there is a premium subscription just hit the little x up here and by launching this app you simply just go into widget studio add widget and you can select your background to be one of these set ones to be set one of these pre-made ones or a select color and then you can also include text as well including even a logo but by selecting car you could either choose a stock image from your existing photo library so if you have a png file you could use that or you could go and search image and you have a variety of different brands and models to choose from and you go into like jaguar and there's a plethora of different models to select from including a year to so select one and then just like that a vehicle is now loaded and you could like increase the size or decrease it and as you're satisfied just hit the little downward arrow to set it as a widget hit set name it to whatever you like save and now it's saved and in real time it updates but now you're still not done here before this next step of course you need to go into your iphone settings launch the settings app and go into the general tab and then in here go into carplay and select the carplay unit you're connected to and then select widget and i'm going to delete this to start from scratch just go ahead and tap the plus icon and search up dashboard and you'll be able to find dashboard widget right here and just hit add rearrange your own personal preference but in real time it should automatically update so that's a cool little customization tool right there now next which i'd like to show you is called sidecar and the cool thing about sidecar it actually will show you the percentage of fuel or you can let it show your tire pressure now I featured this app before because the app is called Sidecar, it's free to use, there's a subscription version as well, but the free version has all the information you want. It connects with a OBD2 sensor, but if you like to see your fuel range remaining, it does not require that. You can see your percentage right here, and it's pretty dead on accurate to my gauge as well. I go in greater detail about this app in that corner video somewhere over here. But with the compatible OBD2 Bluetooth receiver, you compare it to this app, and which way and will basically allow you to actually see your tire pressure monitoring right here on your display in case you have an older vehicle that doesn't show it on your dash. It's a nice little app to see additional information of your car for those road trips. Now this next widget is called Windy and I think it's a better app than Apple's native one because this allows you to have more information on your dash of the current weather conditions as well as wind. But in addition to that, you can swap this with a radar as well. So if I go ahead and remove this app right now, take it out, and we type up windy right in here you'll see we have the default one there is a premium version not necessary but if you keep scrolling you can see additional forecast hour forecast as well as the current radar and you can just simply add on it and now if we scroll and look for it we have the actual weather radar right there now it's not going to be raining here for quite a bit so we're not seeing anything in our forecast but it's pretty cool if you like to see live radar information while you're driving and windy allows you to actually run that as a widget so pretty cool app with a lot of weather information freedom and then real quick if you've been enjoying this video so far if you if you can kindly take two seconds hit that like button like truly appreciate those because those allow the channel to be driven by you guys the viewers which is why you don't see brands integrating like sponsorship segments taking a minute or two off your time i'm also a viewer when it comes to watching youtube videos and sometimes those kind of ruin the moment and thanks to you guys, we don't need them in my video. So personally, I'd like to thank you for taking the time and just hitting that like button. It really does mean a lot. Let's carry on. Now this next app is called Dynamic Lyrics. You see, whenever you're playing music, I'm gonna lower that so I don't get copyright. So right now I have the music playing and in real time, the lyrics are actually changing and updating 
as the music plays. And you also have the ability to pause and play your media. Again, this app is called Dynamic Lyric. And the three widget choices you have is this one, the default one that looks very similar to Apple, just the lyrics by themselves without the album artwork, or both media control and the lyrics. This is the one I prim primarily enjoy using, and it's pretty nice. Now, if you're somebody who enjoys doing like voice memos or have like crazy ideas, or you like to do reminders on the go without having to take out your phone, I know some vehicles have this built in, but if you're driving like an older vehicle like we are right here, we don't have voice memo abilities. I believe this is Kia and Hyundai that actually allows you to do that. But there is one app that allows you to do this, and no, it's not the default voice memo app because that one's not a widget, but just press record is. So here's the name of the app, and once you select it, you have this widget to choose from. Simply just add the widget, and then let's go ahead and switch to it. And here it is, just tap record, and it immediately begins recording. So you can take your voice memos as you're driving. Again, this app is really ideal to use a vehicle display that supports more than two widgets. So one could be entertainment, and the other one could be a powerful tool. Now these next ones are some bonuses, and uh, the one I like to show you is Amazon. You see, if you're somebody who orders a lot, especially on during the holidays on Amazon, the cool thing about Amazon, I do like the fact I could see what item is being delivered or currently being delivered. Uh, again, you could also have the ability to exchange between current deals, but the most useful one is probably the delivery one because I can actually monitor and actually be reminded to uh, be home at a certain time so my package doesn't get just delivered and uh, I'm not home. This way I know when I need to head home pretty soon. You could toggle between other items as well. That's for my car oil change that's coming up. And now this one is a pretty cool one. If you are somebody who uses the Apple Watch watch face and you like to see that on your CarPlay as well, download Charge Master. It's an EV app, but for some reason, they actually allow you to actually have the Apple Watch watch face right here. So as we just add it, if we switch to it, we need to unlock Pro widget to use this. There was a time this was free. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that and tell you how much that is. Okay, so it's, four dollars for a lifetime i think it's worth it there we go so now we have our apple watch face right here where we can monitor the date the time the current weather condition and our iphone battery percentage now the final one has to be the apple home one all due to the fact that these widgets are pretty useful especially if you have like a smart home garage or a smart lock or a smart gate as an example because as you're rolling up you can literally just open your entrance right here by a simple press and then you can like press again to close it. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are some handful of widgets, some good third party ones, and some uh, bonuses, I'll say, like the Apple Watch widget. That one's not really necessary. My friend suggested that one. I think it's kind of cool because I know a couple of people were asking if there was a way you could have your existing watch face on your CarPlay unit. And I guess that's somewhat of a clever way to do so. I'll be continuing to go down this rabbit hole and see if I can find some more useful ones as well as possibly a better watch face version that actually allows you to customize the widgets. I think that would be kind of cool. So definitely do subscribe for more. But in the meantime, if you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see my hidden features and tips and trick video of every, all the things you could do on the latest version of CarPlay. I covered all that in greater detail in this video over there, including a clever way to disable the auto play music ability. I know I'm not the only one that gets annoyed whenever I get inside my car and music, music begins playing immediately. I'll show you how to disable that in that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.